Thanks. I'm breaking news now. This is the very latest from the Spanish government uh, saying it will proceed with the suspension of the Catalan autonomy. So we're just getting news of that. Uh, this is pretty much in line with what Maria uh, was saying. We don't exactly know if this will happen today or it could take as many as two to three days. But on the Bloomberg terminal, I'm just looking at this uh, red sticky saying uh, the Spanish government will proceed with uh, suspending the Catalan autonomy. Um, Maria, I don't know whether you, you know you can feel uh, where you are from on the ground a, a palpable in the streets a sense of I don't know whether it's um, you know people wary of what will happen next if people are concerned if it will turn more people in favor of independence Hi, Vincent. What I can tell you is that, A, the business community in Catalonia has been very concerned about this for three weeks. They make no uh, secret of it. They don't like the way this is going, and they'll tell you, look, this is a big mess, and hopefully there's a way to solve it. The business community being very concerned. Two, in terms of uh, protests on the streets, there's been protests pretty much every day this week. As you know, two pro-independence leaders were sent off to prison earlier this week on an investigation on sedition. That also led to more protests. Again, I think the crucial thing here is that Article 150 and we may running into a little bit of a risk of being complacent here because the fact that it's triggered and may be implemented doesn't mean that the problem in Catalonia is going to go away. In fact, we could get the opposite, a major pushback from people who do support independence. So again, I think a lot of what would happen forward will depend on the kind of resistance that we get, A, from the Catalan government, but also from the Catalan people. And what I can tell you is that it's been protest after protest since I got here to Barcelona about three weeks ago. So obviously it's an issue that's still much, uh, it's, it's very polarizing for the Catalan on society and they're obviously uh, not happy about the way the referendum went the violence that we saw and they're not happy about the fact that there hasn't been any talks between Madrid and Barcelona so again people here are very frustrated that I can definitely tell you